Today I'm going to show you how to use Worldbook Kids and Worldbook Student. The easiest way for your student to access them is through Clever, so they have to log into their 365 account and then click on Clever. Um, once they are logged in, they can click on Worldbook Kids. It's going to be the one with the balloon on it. This is a database that will allow them to search for a wide variety of topics. So they can either type in something specific they want to look for, if they click on explore, it'll give them different categories to explore. And then there's some other features in the database as well. Let's say I'm going to go to animals and I want mammals. And I'm going to pick a big cat, say a cheetah. When I click on it, it'll give you an article about the topic. This speaker right here will read it to you. A cheetah is a large wild cat and it'll go all the way through the article. Some of them will have videos in them, not all of them will, but some will. All you have to do is click right on it and then click the play. Is a large, long-legged cat. Another nice feature about World Book Kids is if you come up in the corner and click on the gear, it gives you the option to translate this text and you can translate it into any of these languages. Now it won't read to you in all of the languages, but it will in some. For example, if I click on Pashto and then click on Go, it might take a minute and then it'll open up. You can see in Pashto there's no speaker over here, so it can't read you in Pashto, but you can read it. If I go down here all the way to the bottom, you can see there's some other options. Worldbook Student will take you to the same article in Worldbook Student, which is a database for a little bit older kids. So the articles are going to be a little bit more advanced. You can see Cheetah up here and I click on read more. You can see it'll have more detail. It'll have a little bit bigger words. This is better for our fifth graders as they move into middle school. I can go back and back. It also has the option, if I click on this orange one, it'll take me to World Book Kids in Spanish. So I click there. It'll be the exact same article, but in Spanish. I can click right here. And then I click, and it'll read it to me in Spanish. Now if I go back, I'm going to click on World Book Kids. It'll take me to the main page. World Book Kids has a whole bunch of things in it. It has modern people. It has people from history. It has historical events, animals, places, all kinds of things. It's a really great place for your kids to explore. Some other nice features are World of Animals. If I go to compare all animals, I can choose two animals to compare side by side. Let's say I want to compare an ant, then I click, and a blue jay, then I click on compare now. You can see it'll kind of give you their lifespan, the foods they eat, where they live, just a nice way to compare two animals. The activities are things that you can print off for the most part and do at home you're looking for activities to do. The games are mostly educational games that they can play online, things like puzzles, there's multiple choice about different topics, matching, again, about educational topics, sorting, and then there's also a crossword puzzle option. Important people will just let you choose what kind of person you want to like down here, if I want an inventor, I can click, and then it'll take you to different adventures, or you can just type in the name of a person you want to look for. Someone like Michael Jordan, you can see back here. Compare Places is similar to Compare Animals, where it compares them side by side, but it's for two different places instead of animals. Let's say I want to compare Africa and Asia. Go to compare now. Again, you can kind of see which country has more people, how big they are, interesting facts, things like that. And then science projects will give you things, again, that you can do at home if you're looking for activities. We use this database a lot when the kids are doing research for school, so it's a good one for them to use at home as well.